Alright YouTube, we got Naruto is way better than My Hero Academia. Now, I saw this and I instantly thought, why is this a question? So maybe there's some context to this I don't know about. Let's, let's find out. Attacking an anime fan base is about one of the most egregious actions you can take as a man in 2024, but who cares? My Hero Academia sucks, and if you disagree, well, my fellow My Hero haters get ready to take arms in the comments because we're going to have to hold down the fort. Look, when Naruto, one of the kings of shonen- We're going to have to hold down the fort? So, so you so you don't think that it's not bad? Alright. Part of the legendary Big 3, the only real competitor to One Piece in the anime that brought the medium to the west. When Naruto met its end, there was a huge hole left in the medium. Now there was the big question of who was going to fill it. Who was going to pick up where Naruto left off because it sure as fuck wasn't going to be Boruto or Black Clover. But as we all know, my- Don't disrespect Black Clover like that ever in your life, buddy. Don't do that. And don't say my hero's about to fill in that spot, because definitely not. Hell no. My hero came out in 2016, and it seemed to be good enough. But since then, Naruto has gotten disrespected, and this is the biggest y'all must have forgot moments in anime history, because I'm tired of it. And there's also been some outrageous claims of how my hero is better than Naruto. So Look, anybody who's saying my hero is better than Naruto... They started watching anime in 2016. Or COVID happened and they came across a My Hero Academia. We call these niggas normies. No real anime fan has the thought that My Hero Academia is better than a Naruto slash Naruto Shippuden. No one is thinking that. It's not even a... this. No experienced anime person. That thought doesn't even come through their mind. My hero not even, my hero try to get in the top 30, let alone better than fucking Arto. What was Sick. it like watching this for the first time? And honestly, it wasn't terrible at first. Deku was here, he was different enough from Naruto where you were like, I'll give him a chance. He didn't have the edge Naruto had. He was like a private school kid and Naruto grew up in the hood. That was kind of the vibe, but we were willing to give it a chance. The kid just needed to have a little bit more of that edge to him. You haven't eaten, have you? I'm good alone. You don't have to follow me. Nani? Hey man, we said Edge in terms of being cool. Not having a goddamn attitude. He did all that just to switch up in three episodes. Like, are you serious? Okay, 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 reel it in. No, 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 I'm not gonna reel it in. Conversation with the both of them at their peak would go just like this. Maybe if you got rid of that old GES haircut, you get some bitches on your dick. Shut up. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna kill you. See, comparing Nar- Alright, that was about the unfunniest thing I've ever seen in my life. But I'ma I'm give you a chance. Naruto to Deku is like comparing something people don't like to something people do. Like, no matter what, there's always gonna be that one- Look. Naruto is literally gonna be- He's gonna be one of the most glorified MCs ever. He just- Part of the big three, same thing with Luffy. Even though Ichigo gets hate, like, there's plenty of Ichigo lovers too- those are just gonna, when it comes to MCs, those three are gonna be relatively untouchable, right? So when you try to compare one of those to a Deku, it just seems comical. It seems like, what are we doing? Well, cause we're, cause we're not being serious. That, that's for damn sure. One person. That's what and we're not cause doing. Deku wastes a few episodes a season in a classroom, he has more depth than Naruto. Deku has more depth then Naruto? Naruto starts off the series, no parents, no friends. He's starting below zero because everyone hates him. On top of that, he's failed to become a Genin three times. And on top of all that, he still has an unwavering belief in himself. And that's just him at the start. I could try Look, Naruto, look, I like to say this. Well, Naruto and Sasuke, because Sasuke, they're Sasuke haters. Those are two of the characters that have the most character development in like any show. Like it's, it's not even close. Especially Naruto. Especially Naruto. So you can't say Naruto doesn't have depth. There's just so many scenarios where it's like, bro, you gotta stop. Drop a whole dreams and nightmares 
bar about how he started from nothing, worked his ass off, fought the demon Zabuza, the genius Neji, then went and fought the one tail, then fought Sasuke with a curse mark after fighting a skeleton man, and don't talk about no Deku. He spent half a season one crying and yelling the name of state. <laughs> All right, okay. He got a couple cool moments, all right, all right. I'll reel it in a bit, but come on, compared to Naruto, the second claim is just absolutely ridiculous and one of the most common claims that the Great Wall of My Hero tried to stand on, and that's that the sports festival arc is better than the Chunin exams. No, I literally ain't never heard this in my life. You gotta be making that shit up. You have to be making that shit up. Because there is no way in the universe someone has that thought. This is literally the, one of the greatest arts in Naruto. Not just, not just Naruto base, even Naruto Shippuden. This is one of the best arts. There is no way you're telling me that this weak-ass sports festival can even touch the exams. There's no way you're... I'm not even going to start, bro. I'm not even going to start. <laughs> Look, 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 there's gotta be more wild than the Deku claim. Whatever you think Deku's relatability is, fine. Whatever. But the Chunin exams? Come on now. Before we even get to the 1v1s, the first part of the sports festival doesn't even compare to the first part of the Chunin exams. Not even in the same realm or universe. The obstacle race to the test? The obstacle course featured all the kids using and combining their quirks to get to the end. And sure, there was moments that were interesting with the robots, but compared to Naruto risking it all, on one question, after not answering the whole test and being told if he failed, he would never, never become a ninja again, and all the kids working to cheat and then being told that the point of being a ninja is to use their resources. Like, okay, if you think the obstacle course is better than that, fine, whatever, we don't need it. But that part felt like a filler episode anyways. But the force of death compared to the cavalry battle, are we being serious now? Like, are we being for real right now? You're gonna compare trying to steal a headband to trying to steal the scrolls? Holy shit, wait, wait, wait. I'm writing this now. They stole the whole flow of Naruto with stealing the headbands but okay whatever there were some okay ish moments in the cavalry battle but there was no real intensity nothing compared to orochimaru pulling up on sasuke leaving him petrified with this mark that we knew nothing about at the time naruto got swallowed swallowed by a snake and then anko got kidnapped by orochimaru and sasuke came back and broke the arm of the sound ninja and he was all like sakura which one did this to you then gara straight up killed someone kabuto switched up and was evil like what are we talking what about? are we talking about for real this, this is why I, this is why i don't think this is anybody seriously said this because they, they their brain they need to go to the hospital man need to go get checked out for some ct or something maybe they got dementia they forgot what happened because there is no universe there's no universe where this is even a conversation. My hero doesn't even have an arc that can even talk to the tuning exams, let alone stand on the same level. They can't even talk to it. Come on, bro. About here. Look, I get that my hero isn't dark and it's all lighthearted at first, so it's like, ooh, wow, contrast with the later seasons. I get it because Boruto is trying to do the same thing. There can still be tension in moments. Even when you know the main cast is going to win, there's still ways to have a level of intensity that doesn't feel like I'm watching a remix training episode. And in terms of the final battle, everyone put this Todoroki Deku fight on a pedestal, and yeah, the fight got hands, but it doesn't even compare to anything in the final part of the Chunin exams. And that's why we're not going to compare it to that. We're going to compare all all of the fights to the prelims i think the naruto prelims should be just fine but there was other fights besides todoroku deku that we should throw in there just to be fair tokoyami's fight was pretty decent bakugo Man. versus uraraka was pretty Man. interesting i have no idea if i pronounce that right deku versus shinso was an interesting spin and honestly i feel like my hero needed more moments in these fights where you actually put your look they needed better fights these are supposed to be fights where they're thinking they're using their intellect they're, they're really battling because they haven't really fought other students. Like, these are students that they have no idea what their abilities are, right? So you're seeing the ability for the first time. You're trying to counter it. And it's just like, it, it had no intensity. It, it didn't hit the bar. But when you talk to the 1v1s and the exam for Naruto, like, what are we talking about?
your main cast in interesting position. Too bad stuff like that never comes back. Bakugo vs Tokuyami was really, really hype. But does it compare to Neji beating the shit out of Hinata and then the Jonin jumping in? Maybe you do think it was better than that. Do you think it was better than Sakura vs Ino? Okay, okay, it was better than that. Naruto vs Kibo was definitely better than most of the fights, where we actually saw Naruto getting some respect on his name for the first time. And maybe you thought that the Naruto vs Kibo was overrated, it had the whole plot over thing, fine, fine, whatever. But if you think about it like this, this is a discussion with those fights. What happens when we throw in Lee vs. Gara? Look, whoever you are watching this, I'm being so serious right now. Lee vs. Gara is better than your whole series. Better? <laughs> no cap. I'm not gonna lie. Lee vs. Gara literally why it, it, The only thing that might stand close to Lee vs. Gara, I don't even think my hero got it, bro. I don't think they got anything, to be honest. Like, no move versus All Might, no. God, even uh, fucking Deku versus Overhaul, fuck no. Bro, it's just, it's not, they don't got nothing in their catalog, bro. Like, not, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Right? There isn't a selection of two and a half episodes you can muster up in your whole series that compare. And you're going to come here and talk to us about how Deku losing somehow makes that better than the tuning exams. Get! Duh. All right, let's ramp it up. I keep on hearing about all these characters being better than Naruto characters. So let's go Bakugo. Some people think he's the best character in my hero. So let's pair him up with Sasuke and see how it goes. Okay, backstory. Bakugo. He wants to be like All Might. Okay, that's it. Surely it's comparable to Sasuke as everyone keeps on saying Bakugo is the best character. So for Sasuke, he was born in the most elite clan in the village with a happy family and then his brother kills everyone in his clan and Sasuke lives on with a vengeance to kill his own brother, carrying that throughout his whole life. Only the Bro, like, I don't even know how my hero people can t even want to bring up characters. Your MC is disliked by the whole anime community. Only people that like Deku are my hero fans. Now I think Deku's okay, but when if, is he compared to, comparable to any character in Naruto? No. Bakugo probably your best character. He's eh. He he just cool because he has the edge. He has the Sasuke edge. That's about it. But he fails to compare to Sasuke. Even your 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 third runner up Todoroki like. You know he's a cool character in design. You know in terms of personality and things that he done in the show and he ain't really done nothing nothing to be better than a singular character in Naruto for real so it's like how do you even want to bring up this conversation of characters and like I said I'm gonna keep saying this but like I need evidence that anyone said this because this is so blasphemy to me that this conversation is even being had I, I if anyone ever comes to my face and looks at me dead in my eyes with a straight face and tells me my hero academia is better than Naruto, we might have some problems. Like, not might, we will have some problems. And I will be taking you to a psych ward immediately. To find out that his brother killed his clan because his clan was planning on murdering the whole village. His brother dedicated his life to protecting him from the truth and he realized his whole life was a lie. What was Bakugos again? He wants to be like All Might. Wait, 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 there's gotta be more to it. Yes, I just found it. His childhood friend became stronger than him. Yeah, I think Bakugo is better than Sasuke when you put it like that. What about villain Shigaraki? He's supposed to be a favorite. He's got a tragic backstory where everything he touches is basically destroyed and everything around him falls apart. He's got no family, no one loves him. But Shigaraki's a cool, cool character in my hero. Like, he's a, actually a pretty good villain. Way better than Overhaul. I mean, from from what we've seen, he's better for, than goddamn all for one or whatever that nigga's name is but like when you compare him to naruto villains like bro it's not even close it's not even close like you could think of almost any main naruto villain he don't even come close everything around him turning to dust that's actually really good symbolism so he forms a group of friends that actually understand him and are a gang of misfits okay there's a lot more to this character. He's like, Shigaraki's actually pretty sick. So let's throw him up against Gara. Gara's mother died during childbirth, and then he got a demon put inside him, and he was feared by the whole village because that demon killed everyone in the village numerous times. When he was a kid, his father tried to have him killed numerous times, but his mother's brother actually cared for him, and he was the only one that actually supported him 
all of his life. Okay, Shigaraki didn't have that. Wait, what was that? His the brother also tried to kill him and told him he hated him his whole life. Okay, so maybe you still think that Shigaraki is better than Gara. But should we compare Shigaraki to Madara? Obito, Itachi, Pain, Orochimaru, Sabaza. We could do that, but that'd take a while, and I think I proved my point, because even if you think he's better than all of those, I think they're aggregate having all of those villains. If you think that Shigaraki is better than all these villains, bro, you I'm not gonna lie. You need some help. Betterhelp.com, buddy. Come on, bro. Is a lot better than the rest of the villains in My Hero. All Might is pretty hype. He's strong. He's he got the typical. All right, look, we're not doing this. This whole long comparison thing anymore. I'm over it. All Might, you're cool. But who thinks All Might is a better character than Kakashi or Jiraiya? Like who? Bring them to me and show them to me. No one thinks All Might is better than look, Kakashi. The way Kakashi been getting hated lately, I won't be surprised if someone did do that. I'm not gonna lie. Kakashi been getting straight strays constantly lately i don't know what it is about niggas and kakashi or jiraiya i don't need to write a proof on it if you think i'm wrong you just probably haven't read naruto or watched it this whole narrative that these characters are deeper it's crazy but i think this argument came because of the amount of characters that caught the fade and ship it in but for one they already got more depth in part one of naruto that's enough to compete with my hero on its own also don't fact. forget about how many characters got faded in my hero too yeah they appeared in a battle but did you ever watch the final war everyone got a fight in there even ten ten i would argue that too many Many of them got fights in the final war but surely there's something my hero does that can compare to naruto this is my hero one of the most popular anime of all time i was told it was better than naruto what does it do better it has better female characters yeah that's probably true they can take that one they can take that one they definitely got that main reason this has become a discussion and the reason these claims are even being Whoa. Ooh, I just need to know who, bro. Brought up in the first place. It's because of the absolute disrespect sent the way of Naruto in this modern era. It's been almost 10 years since it ended, and Boruto has been mediocre at best, and everyone's sitting and claiming this is better than Naruto, and that's better than Naruto. Bro, some people claim Black Clover is better than Naruto. I don't- Bro, I- look. I don't know who- what universe, what anime sphere this guy's on. But let a nigga come my way with that shit. I got a Black Clover poster in the back. I love it. But let a nigga come my way with that shit. There's no way people are saying stuff like this. I don't even need to say anything to dispute that. Like, are you kidding me? What? It's not even just Naruto. Once an anime becomes a little old, you start hearing rumblings. Just wait. Next thing you know, they're going to start saying Vinland Saga clears AOT in every way. Or that Death Note was never good to begin with. And then, when they start coming for One Piece, that's when everything's going to get really crazy. Making claims that my hero has better fights than Naruto. Like, what? What are we doing? The reality is, Jujutsu Kaisen probably has the best fights in modern anime. And they just just started reaching the level of some of the fights in naruto and even animation wise sasuke vs b in naruto and sasuke's final fight is still the best animation in anime fights to this day that's not even getting into the plot and narrative between the fights realistically besides female characters what are you giving my hero lore naruto world naruto plot naruto protagonist personal preference but naruto rival naruto no, it's villain it's not personal preference it's not personal preference if you think Deku is a better character than Naruto, myhelp.com. I mean, not my help, betterhelp.com. Because it just is objectively not true. It's not true. Naruto, although Shigaraki is cool animation, Naruto fights Naruto. Maybe you like the My Hero OST more, and you might prefer the supporting characters in My Hero more, but are any of them better than Elite? Bro, come on. You don't like the My Hero OST more. All it has is Yusei Run. You say run in like two openings. Come on, bro. Oh, we, we're comparing that to like damn near 30 openings for Naruto. Not 30, like 25. 25, 26 openings for Naruto. Let alone all the OST, sad, sadness and sorrow. Like, come on, bro. You, we can't... You can't even give them anything, to be honest. Like, it's not... Lee or Shikamaru? Like, Twice and Hawks have a sick dynamic, but compared to, like, Minato? Come on now. Maybe the issue is that My Hero has its audience all split up between kids and old-school anime fans, so sometimes it's edgy and sometimes it's kiddy, and some episodes are targeting one audience versus the other, but the fact that people make these claims, it's like, if you're gonna take a shot at the king, you best not miss. So look, My Hero fans, you got a good thing going with your manga. The anime is a lot better than it used to be, but don't 
get us all here to listen to your claim when you don't even have an arc that compares to the land of waves, much less the tuning exams, Sasuke retrieval, or the pain invasion? Man though, Jujutsu Kaisen, that's actually the proper heir to Naruto's throne, which you can watch a video on here and make sure my comments get this right. So if you enjoyed this video, look, once again, I don't even know why this is a conversation. And if anyone can even think that my hero is better than Naruto, you just need some help. There's, I, I can't say much. This is, this is literally one of the dumbest conversations I ever heard in my life. There is no need to argue with a my hero person about this because it's just, it's just why. It's just why. Great video, nonetheless. Kish, great video. So you like the video? You'll like this one too. Go ahead and click on that. Okay. You're still here? So so you don't fuck with me? Nah, I'm a dick. I'm a dick.